Wheat checks, rice checks, and good hot roasting present Space Patrol. <laughs> High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander in Chief of the Space Patrol. <laughs> In today's transcribed Space Patrol adventure, Buzz and Happy are bound securely in a robot ship headed toward Terra and controlled by Prince Baccarati from his castle on Planet X. I can't move, sir. Even without that paralyzer ray, the straps would hold us. Keep struggling, Happy. Pluto Defense Squadron 12 Space Patrol, a private cruiser, NTC-307 Neptune Registry. Acknowledge. Uh-huh. He's calling this ship? We have information that Prince Baccarati is aboard. Surrender immediately. I can only get loose and reach that space phone. Major Roberts is the Baccarati. Acknowledge or we'll fire. Oh, we could only let him know that we're aboard. He's fighting half... Hey, they're firing at us. We'll return in just a moment with today's exciting space patrol adventure, Escape from Planet X. All right, step right up, test your strength, test your swing, ring the bell, and win a prize. Hi, gang, this is Captain Dick Tufel. And Space Patroller Bill O'Connell. We're having a whale of a time today at the Terra State Fair. My pal here says he's going to ring that bell and win the prize. You bet I am, Captain Tufel. All right, there he goes. He's raising the mallet over his head. Up it goes. Down it comes. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Just listen to that bell ring. But power and strength. Hey, Space Patroller, how'd you get all that get up and go? Supercharged, that's me. I had my bite-sized checks today. Now, Space Patrollers, how about you? Did you start off this morning with a big bowl full of rice checks or wheat checks? Those super cereals that help to supercharge you? Bite-sized wheat checks. Rich, hearty, shredded wheat. Chock full of flavor, minerals, and energy vitamins. Yes, and no other cereal, flaked or plot, contains so much nourishment in such concentrated bite-sized form. That's why Commander Corey made Rice Checks and Wheat Checks official cereals of the Space Patrol. So, gang, tomorrow morning and every morning, be a real Space Patroller. Power up with an energy-packed bowl full of Rice Checks and Wheat Checks. And now, today's Space Patrol adventure, Escape from Planet X. The power-mad Prince Baccarati is now in the hands of Commander Corey. The man who sought to overthrow the United Planet is a captive on the remote Planet X in the very prison camp where he had forced 130 abducted men into slave labor in the Arctite mines. Al Cadet Happy assists Space Patrol officers preparing to evacuate Baccarati's former captives to their home planet. Commander Corey questions the self-styled prince in the labor camp office shack. You might as well tell the truth, Baccarati. How many United Planet citizens are you holding in other parts of Planet X? Surely, Commander... You know how many men and women are missing from the solar system? Yes, but I want to know how many are on this planet right now. I want them all released. Look, Corey, you have only two spaceships here. In less than an hour, Malengo will have alerted a squadron of my ships at the castle. They can easily prevent you from blasting off. Your men aren't going to risk destroying you. And Malengo knows that you're in custody. Remember, my forces are still in control at Penetech. You and your men will never leave here unless you release me. The only thing delaying our blast off is a last-minute search for those two men who escaped from your prison camp just before our ships arrived. The minute they're rescued, I'm giving the order to blast off, and you're coming with us. And they won't be found so easily. A lot could happen to them in the Valley of Dread. Whether we find them dead or alive, they'll still be witnesses against you. Excuse me, Commander. Oh, yes, sir. Is... Those two men who escaped have been found, sir. Are they all right? It's pretty fair, sir. They recognized our space patrol ships and came back to camp under their own power. Good. And that accounts for all of Baccarati's captives, all 130 of them. Yes, sir. Except that the last tally shows 131. Well, that's one more than we're supposed to have. Well, space Sergeant Dickens is sure the count is correct, sir. Well, I'll check on it later. How's the evacuation proceeding? Well, very good, sir. Most of the sick men are aboard ship number one, and Baccarati's guards are locked up in number two. I'll order a complete search of the camp to see that none of Baccarati's men are hiding. And we'll put Baccarati aboard and blast off the Terra. Meanwhile, we'll just lock his highness in this room so he won't be disturbed. Yes, sir. Both ships are loaded, Commander. Oh, fine, Happy. We can blast off as soon as we put Baccarati aboard. Mm. I'll sure be glad to get off this planet. It's ugly enough ordinarily, but 
Look at those clouds. Yeah. Storm is moving in from the east. Well, we'll be gone in five minutes. When we get Buck, Roddy, and Terra, we can give them a brainograph test. We might find a weak point in the defenses of the castle. And at the same time, how many prisoners he has in front of us. Well, a couple of the older men don't agree with that last tally, sir. Uh, they said they privately kept Tab and their fellow prisoners, and, you know, there were just 130. Oh, Sergeant Beckins is very reliable. If he counted 131, there must be a hundred. Happy, come on, hurry. Oh, what is it, sir? Get to the office building quickly. It just occurred to me where that extra man came from. Commander, look. I was afraid of that. The door's been forced open. Oh, the rocket bucket right he's gone. Now, how did he get out of that room? Look at the lock. It was smashed from this side. Yeah, but who That could extra have... man. One of Buck Roddy's guards managed to slip in with the evacuee. He must be somewhere in the camp. If we hurry, we can catch him. Into the yard, quickly. There's Buck Roddy's atmosphere ship. Maybe they're headed for that. I don't think so. He knows it's the first place we've looked. We'll never be able to blast off with our ships here. Oh, then they must be outside the camp, heading toward the mountains. With a dozen men from our ships, we could overtake them. Now, the important thing right now is to get these ships off Planet X before Buck Roddy's out there. Sure. I hate to let him go when we finally had our hands on I him. know how you feel, Happy, but the ships are in real danger now. Chances are Buck Roddy had the foresight to grab a miniature space phone when he got loose. He can tip off Melango, but he's no longer a prisoner. Yeah, and the whole squadron can tear after our ships without worrying about hurting Buck Roddy. I'm giving the order for our ship to blast off immediately. You and I will stay here on Planet X and search for Buck Roddy. A few moments later, two men scramble through the thick bush on the steep side of the mountain near the prison camp. One of the men is in the ragged, faded red uniform of the prison workers. The other is Prince Baccarati, his gaudy tunic torn by the brambles. All right, Orkai. Let's stop. It's me. I'm winded. We'll rest a minute while I contact Malengo. Then we'll move on. Hand me that mirror, please, face up there. Yes, Your Highness. Oh, uh, by the way, that was very clever of your touch, mingling with the prisoners in the hospital, sir. You will be rewarded when we return to the castle. Thank you, Your Highness. What's that? Oh. That was one of Corey's ship blasting off. I suppose he decided not to risk losing boat ships by keeping them here while he looked for me. Yeah. I might have known it. Known what? That Corey would think of the safety of his man. Yes, and perhaps of his own safety, too. He knows he couldn't fight off my ship, so he blasted off. Yes, but he'll be back. We'll be ready for him when he returns. We'll have that warning tower back in operation, and if a space patrol ship comes within a million deals of this planet, we'll blast it to ashes. Hey, Highness, how are your men going to find us in this storm? Uh, before we turn, we can go back to the prison camp. The atmosphere ship is there. Yes, but Corey probably put it out of commission before he blasted off. Probably. But at least we'll be out of this hole. Come on, Olcott. Let's head down the mountain. As the storm builds in violence, Buzz and Abby stand in the darkened office shaft, looking out the window towards Baccarati's small, sleek atmosphere ship. An occasional flash of lightning brings every inch of the prison yard into full brilliance. It's got away all right. Well, they must have, Happy. There's no way Malango could have detected them on this side of the planet. All right, let's go. Run for the ship. Yes, sir. Wow, what a blast. It's a regular hurricane. Keep your head down. Buck the wind. Up the ladder into the ship. Close it, Happy. For a minute there, I thought the wind was going to blow me clear out of the stockade. Planet X. Even the weather is terrible. Yeah, it's a break for us. We can circle over this whole area without being seen or heard. And then Baccarati signals to a ship, we know where he is. Well, can we fight off a whole fleet of Baccarati ships in this little atmosphere job? We won't have to, Hack. That is our only one of the ships to land to pick up Baccarati. They won't be expecting any company. Yeah, and the fact that this is Baccarati's own ship is going to throw them off guard uh, when they do see it. We're going to have to work fast and hope that our luck goes out. All right, Hap, let's get this ship airborne. Yes, sir. Stay right where you are, gentlemen. I got a fuck gun on you. Get your hands up, Corey. Orca, take their weapons. Yes, Your Highness. Oh, Baccarati and the missing guard. 
Get the guard, Hap. Wait, Hurry! Wait. I warned you! I got Corey, Orca. Break away from the cadet. Sure. Uh. Oh. <laughs> that sure sent him spinning, Your Highness. Drag them back aft and lock them out. I'll notify Malengo to prepare a cell for them in the dungeon of my castle. We'll return to Space Patrol in just a moment. This is Dick Tufel speaking from Edwards Air Force Base, Murak, California. I've got an interesting story for you this morning about one of the most unusual-looking planes in the sky today, the XF-92A, designed by Convair Aircraft, San Diego. Now, in just a second, I'm going to introduce you to the Air Force test pilot on that plane, Major Chuck Yeager, the first man to fly faster than the speed of sound. He's standing beside me right now, but first, I'd like to tell you a few things about the XF-92A. It looks exactly like a triangle. It's often called the flying triangle. Wings are swept back at a severe angle, 60 degrees. Now, top speed of this Air Force interceptor is about 700 miles an hour. Surface ceiling is over 45,000 feet. You know, it takes some doing to test fly a ship like that. You need energy and plenty of it. And to face the risk involved, you need steady nerves. Now, let's hear what a real test pilot has to say about it. Meet Chuck Yeager. Let me tell you what it takes to be a test pilot start with, I have to be in good condition. That means get plenty of rest, plenty of exercise, good food at every meal. For breakfast, I like a cereal that really tastes good and has plenty of energy. You like rice checks and wheat checks, eh, Chuck? Well, no other cereal, puffed or flake, contains so much nourishment in such concentrated bite-sized form. So, gang, do as famous test pilots do. Pick your cereal for flavor and energy. Today, get rice checks and wheat checks. And now back to Escape from Planet X. Believing that Prince Baccarati was hiding in the mountains near his slave labor camp, Commander Corey and Cadet Happy boarded Baccarati's atmosphere ship. Buzz had counted on the violent storm raging in this part of Planet X to conceal the ship and enable them to recapture the crafty prince. But Baccarati and his guard had returned to the camp, thinking Buzz had left with the evacuees in the space patrol ship. Just as Buzz and Happy were about to blast off, Baccarati and his guard stepped out and overpowered the two space patrolmen with a flux gun. Right now, Buzz and Happy are in a cell in the dungeon of Baccarati's castle on the opposite side of Planet X. The prince taunts them through the bars. Ah, the great commendatory. Oh, I hate to tear myself away. Don't let us detain you, Baccarati. Oh, you're very kind. Uh, perhaps you'd like to know where I am going. I am going to Terra. I'll go in ordinary clothes as a businessman from Neptune. I'll arrive in a private cruiser with a Neptune registry. Aren't you afraid your noble bearing will give you away? Uh, not at all, Commander. The Space Patrol is certain that I'm here on planet Earth, trying to avoid being captured by you. They will be making plans to sneak back here and get you off the planet. The last thing they would suspect is that Prince Baccarati would dare to show up in the capital of the United Planet. Well, you may have a point there. Yeah. And I have agents on the And on the other side. All the time, they're working on my plan to overthrow the government. Preparing the way for my return to the solar system as a supreme ruler. Oh? You didn't know that, did you, Prince? I suspected it. I think this is the time to come forward, there and to make arrangements for certain materials and supplies to be brought here to planet X. Oh. I see that you figure out the captured district. What makes you so sure you won't? Because you are here in my castle as a hostage. In case I am caught, your safety will be the terms of my release. Well... Goodbye, Commander. Hmm. Imagine that. Agents, I tell you. And the space patrol hasn't got the faintest idea who they are. Oh, can Bacalada get away with it? Go to Terra? Yeah, I'm bold enough. I didn't expect it. And here we are, locked up in this dungeon. Huh? Anything? There's something shiny out there on the side. See it through the bar? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yes, yeah. man. Hmm, it looks like a key. 
Two guards ducking together at a turn of the passage fail to notice the two space patrolmen as they creep up the stairs to the next level. Carefully, Buzz tries door after door. Then finally, he finds what he's searching for a storeroom full of electronics equipment. Swiftly, with Happy's aid, the commander adjusts the dials of a space phone to the secret space patrol frequency and Secret space patrol frequency and turns on the transmitter. The set reaches as far as the space station outside the Pluto orbit within luck. Emergency. Amanda Corey and Planet X calling all space patrol units. Corey to all space patrol units. Emergency. Space station 3 Pluto orbit, Commander Corey. Your signal's very weak, Commander. Now listen carefully. I can't repeat this message. Prince Baccarati is preparing to fly to Terra in a private space cruiser of Neptune Registry. He will pose as a legitimate businessman. Alert all units to intercept him outside the perimeter of his Planet X defenses. Take him alive if possible. Hurry up. You shouldn't have any trouble picking up Bartorati. Right? No. There won't be any other ships coming from the direction of Planet X. Now, half our next problem is to get back to our cell without being seen. Uh, back to the cell? Yes. Yeah. Bartorati mustn't know that we've had a chance to tip off the space before. Even now, we have Be carefully retrace their steps and at last reach the dungeon level under the castle. A moment later, they're in the cell with the door locked. We'll hide the key somewhere in the cell, Happy, in case we need to use it again. Yes, sir. I made it just in time. Somebody came. Okay. I'll be looking for this time. I got good news for you, gentlemen. I know. You got a toothache. That was unkind, Cadet. You should be grateful to me. Come on. You're leaving Planet X. We are? Where are you taking us? I am putting you in a robot ship and sending you to a terror. Well, at last you're showing some sense, Baccarani. Yes, I know. Oh, uh, incidentally, you can see that key you found on the floor. As you see, I have a duplicate. Uh... Key? Yes. The key with which you unlocked the affair. Uh, by the way, I overheard your conversation on the space affair, the space patrol. You found the equipment sooner than I expected. So you planted the key there, dropped it on purpose. That's right. Just far enough out of reach to look at the dental, but near enough so that you would use your famous ingenuity and recover it. I don't get it. So... Why would you want us to, to pick off the space patrol about your trip to China? Because Baccarati had no intention of going to China. <laughs> That's right, Commander. It's too bad you didn't figure that out sooner. And the space patrol challenges a certain private cruiser with Neptune registry and receives no answer. They will start firing on it. You will be helpless, unable to call off your men. And in their eagerness to get Prince Baccarati, the space patrol will destroy their own commander-in-chief. A few moments later, Buzz and Happy are strapped securely in the control cabin of the robot space cruiser. As an added precaution, Prince Baccarati gives them each a blast with a paralyzer ray, then returns to the tower of his castle to regulate the remote control equipment of the robot ship. Can you, can you talk to me? I can't move. Even without that paralyzer ray, these straps would hold us. 
I'm sure isn't taking any chances. All right, here we go. Blasting the ship off a remote control from the castle. Comfortable, gentlemen? Oh, don't bother to answer because I can't hear you. It's fortunate. I don't think your remarks would be complimentary. Yeah, he's right, Mr. Rat. I'll give you something to think about, Commander, on your final journey. Shortly after your space patrol men blast to the pit, there will be another tragedy in another part of the base. What are you talking about, Brian? The space patrol base and planet Neptune will be destroyed by another robot ship, loaded with high explosives. He wouldn't do that. The robot will appear to be an innocent supply ship, with you out of place, Commander, and the Neptune base destroyed. I'll have taken the first major step in my plan to rule the solar system. Goodbye, Commander. On we are. Commander, you can't be serious. I'm afraid he is. Yeah, but what good would it do him to wipe out the Neptune base? Baccarati's no ordinary criminal, Hap. Remember, Neptune is Baccarati's home planet, the one his family ruled for centuries. Yeah, until the people booted them out and joined the United Planet. And Baccarati's walked mine. Neptune is his personal property. Destroying our space patrol installation there would delight his ego. Yeah, but it would make everybody in the United Planet so mad they'd insist on wiping out Baccarati's planet X. With his defenses, that's impossible at present. We have the people of ten planets full of helpless fear and panic. That's Baccarati's greatest weapon. Fear would force millions of people to surrender to save their lives and their homes. There's nothing we can do about it. Can't even move. Where are we now, Commander? I can't tell from here, but we should be well outside the Planet X defense and warning system. I think the paralyzer rays are beginning to wear off. I can move my fingers a little. Well, we'll have to do better than that, Hap. Solar Defense Squadron 12 Space Patrol to Private Cruiser MPC 307 Neptune Registry acknowledged. Yes, he's calling this ship? This is Major Robertson, Commanding Squadron 12. We have information that Prince Baccarati is aboard Private Cruiser MPC 307, now on Terra Vector from Planet X. Oh, if I could only get to that space upon oh, Keep working, Hap. Major Robertson to Baccarati. Acknowledge or we'll fire. Uh, any luck, Hap? Oh, no. <laughs> You've got to get loose. Hey, he's firing at us. We place that missile across your nose to show we mean business, Baccarati. We know you're aboard because Commander Corey told us. You have ten seconds to surrender or the next missile will hit you amidship. I wish Major Robertson wouldn't be so conscientious just this once. If he hits us, he may never know he got us instead of Baccarati. Keep straining on those straps, Happy. Yes, sir. Five seconds, Baccarati. Five seconds? <coughs> Commander, you did it! No, Baccarati didn't cut off his transmitter. Major Robertson, hold your fire! You're surrendering, Baccarati? Robbie, this is Commander Corey. Baccarati's not aboard. He's on planet X. Commander? Great fall from the Curian. I was about... Attention, all units. Stand by for further orders. Robbie, you've got to work fast. Order one of your ships to join airlocks with this robot. Yes, sir. After Happy and I are clear of this ship, destroy it. I want Baccarati to think his plan succeeded. Right, sir. When this ship is destroyed, return to your base. I'll take over the rescue ship and proceed to the Neptune orbit. Hurry out. Meantime, back in the tower of his castle on Planet X, Prince Baccarati turns to the guard, Orcut, and smirks with satisfaction. Did you see that, Orcut? Ha <laughs> ha! Did you see what happened to those instruments? I don't know much about this kind of thing, Your Highness. There's remote controls and view scope screens. The instruments rattled and returned to zero. That means the robot ship is destroyed. And with it, Commander Corey. And the Space Patrol got it. Yes, just as I planned. Now, let's see if I can see. This controls the other robot. Yeah, the one you're going to blow up the Neptune base with. Exactly. Watch the tiny dot on the screen. That's the ship approaching Neptune. In a few minutes, the Neptune base will be... Supply ship? I think so, sir. Uh, yeah, that's what it is, all right. Second course. Yes, sir. Got to be sure it's the right one. It's heading straight to the Neptune base, sir. From what direction? Oh, he's facing it back. Uh, it came from 34 degrees off Pluto, which would indicate it came from planet X. An all regular ship is in order to avoid this sector. So well, that's the one we're after. It's on a collision course, sir. And it's keeping its acceleration. Stand by to fire cosmic missiles. Standing by, sir. Cut on automatic target selector. 
Closing in on zero, sir. Number one missile fired, sir. Now, if Baccarati doesn't have any trick device to throw off our guided missile, we'll know in a couple of seconds. Wow, we got it! Think what would have happened if that robot had hit Neptune. The base would have been wiped clear off the planet. As it is, I'll bet it'll rain fragments for a week. Fortunately, none of them will be big enough to do any damage. Boy, this is going to be a big disappointment to Prince Baccarati. Yes, just a way to get his mind off this setback. How, sir? We'll give him something new to worry about right away. A preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure in just a moment. Hi, Space Patrollers. It's football time on the planet Terra. The Terra High Terrors versus the Jumpin' Jupiters. And today the Terrors are really running up the yardage. There they go, over the goal line again. Another touchdown for the Terrors. Yes, sir, they're supercharged all the way. They had their bite-sized checks today. Now, gang, how about you? If you want to be able to block and tackle and kick like a football hero, you have to get on the ball and stay on the ball every day. That means you need a power-packed, bite-sized checks breakfast every morning. A big bowl full of rich, crisp, terrific-tasting rice checks or wheat checks. Those super cereals that help the supercharge you. Both have that modern bite-sized design for super easy eating, and both make swell between meal snacks, because both taste just as good right out of the box. So space patrollers to run up lots of yardage on the gridiron to be the big star of your team, start right in tomorrow. Just have yourself a power breakfast with rice checks or wheat checks. No other cereal, flaked or puffed, gives you so much nourishment in such concentrated bite-sized form. So power up for those space patrol cereals, rice checks, wheat checks. And now, a preview of next week's exciting space football adventure. Buzz and Happy are at the Saturn City spaceport, following a man they believe to be a cousin of Prince Baccarati. Vincent, all right, sir. In the back, he looks just like Baccarati. He's in the shadow of this fate loading platform, Happy. Come on, let's close in. Just a minute, Benson. Yes. Step over here into the light. Anything to oblige, Corey. Commander, it's Prince Baccarati. Get him, Happy. All right, Malenko, use your ray gun. Look out, Happy. Uh, look out, Commander. Uh, that does it, Malenko. Get them aboard the ship, and we'll give them a one-way trip to Planet X. Be sure to join us next week for the thrilling story, The Spies from Planet X, when we check, rice check, and good hot Wilson again present Space Patrol! Space Patrol, created by Mike Moser, starring Ed Kemmerer as Commander Corey, and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston, produced and directed by Larry Robertson, executive producer Mike Devery. Other players were Bela Kovach, Norman Jolly, Ken Mayer, and Stephen Robertson. Dick Tufel speaking. Now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday when Wheat Check, Rice Check, and Good Hot Wilson again present Space Patrol! <laughs> and be sure to see another exciting Space Patrol program on your local ABC television station. Consult your local paper for time and channel. This program is broadcast to our armed forces overseas through the...